Welcome to the Biotechnology Lecture Series. This is the fifth lecture on cell biology. In this lecture, we will cover introduction, history, types, composition, ultrastructure, biogenesis, and functions of chloroplast. Chloroplasts are specialized organelles found in plant and algae cells, responsible for photosynthesis the process that converts light energy into chemical energy in the form of glucose. This essential cellular function sustains life on Earth by providing the primary source of energy and oxygen. If we talk about the history of chloroplast, in the 19th century, cell theory emerged, thanks to scientists like Matthias Schleiden and Theodor Schwann, laying the foundation for cell understanding, including chloroplasts. Hugo von Mohol's observation of chloroplasts in plant cells in 1837 marked a pivotal moment. In the early 20th century, researchers such as C. B. Van Neel and Robert Hill made significant contributions to comprehending chloroplasts' photosynthetic processes. Chloroplasts are found within the cytoplasm of plant cells, and they are predominantly situated within the cells of green plant tissues, notably in leaves, stems, and green fruit. Additionally, they can be found in algae and certain protists, where they fulfill a comparable role in the process of photosynthesis. Plastids are a family of organelles found in plant cells. They include chloroplasts, chromoplasts, and leucoplasts. Chloroplasts engage in photosynthesis and contain chlorophyll pigments. Chromoplasts handle pigment synthesis and storage providing fruits and flowers with their various colors. And leucoplasts are mainly involved in synthesizing and storing starches, oils, and proteins. The chemical composition of chloroplast includes chlorophyll pigments, carotenoids, proteins, lipids, DNA, and RNA. Chlorophyll is the key green pigment crucial for capturing light energy in photosynthesis while carotenoids assist by providing additional colors like yellow and orange, broadening the spectrum of light absorption. In chloroplasts, proteins hold a crucial role as enzymes and structural components vital for diverse metabolic reactions within this organelle. Additionally, lipids play a significant role in shaping the membrane structure of chloroplasts and participating in important signaling processes. Moreover, Chloroplasts possess their unique genetic material in the form of DNA and RNA, allowing them to undertake limited protein synthesis, contributing to their functional autonomy. The ultrastructure of chloroplast consists of stroma, lumen, lamella, double membrane structure, thylakoids, ribosomes, and granum. The chloroplast consists of a double membrane structure, enclosing an internal aqueous region called the stroma. Within the stroma are thylakoids, flattened sacs that stack to form grana, essential for photosynthesis. Ribosomes are present in both thylakoids and stroma for protein synthesis. Lamellae connect thylakoids and grana, aiding in efficient communication and transport between compartments. This complex structure optimizes energy conversion and biochemical processes supporting plant vitality. Biogenesis of chloroplasts encompasses two fundamental pathways, binary fission, where existing chloroplasts divide to give rise to new ones, and de novo synthesis, involving the creation of chloroplasts from scratch. This intricate process involves a delicate interplay between the nuclear and chloroplast genomes. A significant proportion of essential chloroplast proteins crucial for structure and function, are encoded by nuclear DNA and later imported into the chloroplast. This orchestrated effort ensures the proper development and maintenance of chloroplasts within plant and algal cells. Chloroplasts in plants and algae have two primary functions during photosynthesis. Firstly, they absorb light energy using pigments like chlorophyll. Secondly, they undergo a process called water splitting or photolysis, 
where water molecules are split to release oxygen, protons and electrons. These functions are essential for the production of glucose and the generation of oxygen, sustaining life on Earth. Chloroplasts play a key role converting light energy into chemical energy, creating a TP and NADPH essential for powering cell activities. Moreover, chloroplasts release oxygen, a vital byproduct of photosynthesis, into the atmosphere, sustaining life through aerobic respiration. The Calvin cycle, also called carbon fixation, is like a recipe for plants. They use carbon dioxide, a bit like a chef using ingredients. With the help of a TP and NADPH energy molecules they made earlier, they transform carbon dioxide into glucose and other vital stuff they need. It's like cooking up their own food in their plant kitchen. Chloroplasts play a fundamental role in the Earth's ecosystem sustaining life by providing the energy and oxygen needed for survival. Here are some research questions related to the topic. Number one, what are the primary pigments responsible for capturing light energy in chloroplasts? And what role do they play in the process of photosynthesis? Number two, how does the endosymbiotic theory explain the origin of chloroplasts? And what evidence supports this theory? And number three, describe the ultrastructure of chloroplasts, highlighting the specialized membrane-bound compartments and their roles in the photosynthetic process. That's all from this lecture. See you in the next video for lecture number six. And let's not forget to subscribe to this channel.